Hi, I'm Mike Preston, Arkansas Secretary of Commerce and Executive Director of the Arkansas Economic Development Commission. Today I want to talk about two new programs that we've launched in the last couple of days uh, that are really exciting for Arkansans that are offering support to those who have been unemployed and some assistance to businesses who are trying to get their doors back open and do it in a safe, secure manner. First, an update on the Pandemic Unemployment Assistance Program, commonly referred to as PUA. This is the program that was uh, implemented via the CARES Act to allow for uh, general assistance for unemployment assistance that had not been covered before uh, for individuals like um, uh, independent contractors, self-employed workers, nonprofit employees, gig economy workers, um, uh, some part-time workers, uh, a lot of exemptions that were put into the CARES Act bill to um, uh, account for these individuals who are not eligible for traditional unemployment benefits. Effective May 5th, Arkansas self-employed workers are now eligible for this PUA as we have uh, stood up and built a completely new system to handle and intake these individuals. If you fall into this category or you have businesses that you're working with or individuals who are asking about this, uh, please direct them to our website, arunemployment.com. That's arunemployment.com. Applicants may apply online seven days a week, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. You can also call our hotline, 844-908-2178, between 6 a.m. Uh, and 6 p.m. Central Time, and that's seven days a week. And again, on this pandemic unemployment assistance, this is a brand new system that the Department of uh, Labor uh, gave us guidance on about mid-May. It required us to stand up a completely new system uh, that one, would be compatible with our old system, and, and two, would intake uh, individuals who uh, file their taxes based on a traditional 1099. Our old system was not compatible or, or built to do that, uh, so the requirements of the Department of Labor that we uh, had to build a brand new system. We have done that. We've gone through extensive testing, and again, happy to report as of May 5th, that system is up and running, and those individuals can go online and apply for those benefits. Those who are applying for these uh, pandemic unemployment assistance are eligible for the pandemic unemployment compensation. That's the additional $600 per week uh, that the federal government also uh, accounted for uh, in the CARES Act. Again, please drive folks to that arunemployment.com if they're looking for more information or how to sign up. Additionally, I want to give everyone an update on the Ready for Business grant program. These grants are intended to help uh, cover COVID-19 related costs of ensuring the health and safety of employees and patrons at Arkansas companies. We were able to uh, uh, stand this program up in short time uh, because we saw the, the need out there by businesses uh, that wanted to reopen and they want to do it in a safe, secure manner and we want to be able to provide funds uh, so that these businesses could take advantage of that. The grants are made available through the CARES Act and the funds were recommended uh, via the Governor's CARES Act um, Steering Committee that's making recommendations on these funds. Applications were submitted um, on April 29th, uh, again on May 5th and May 6th uh, through our website. In total of those three days that we took applications, we received over 12,000 applications. 94% of these applications were from businesses with 50 uh, employees or fewer. And more specifically, 46.3% of applicants are from minority, female, or disabled veteran-owned businesses. I really think this is hitting our sweet spot of businesses in the state of Arkansas to get the assistance to those small businesses that are trying so hard to uh, reopen their doors, make sure they do so in a safe manner, that they're providing PPE for their employees, that they're offered some safety uh, assurance and, and uh, confidence there uh, in their customers as they come back in. And Arkansas companies are clearly ready for business and wanting to resume operations in a, in a way that ensures the health and safety of their employees and customers. I'm proud of the Arkansas companies who are trying to reopen and do so in a safe manner. And it's because of you all that we will see our economy bounce back. And just how quickly depends on how quickly we can instill that consumer confidence uh, in the employees, uh, in the consumers, uh, in their health and their safety, and in their ability to just go out and start purchasing things again uh, and try to get that economy going. And now I want to share another example of an Arkansas business hero. Ellis Finworks and Machine, located in Benton, Arkansas, specializes in tool and die repair and consulting primary for the HVAC industry. They are a small business with 10 employees. They have worked hard to ensure the safety of their employees during the COVID-19 pandemic. 
and to limit person-to-person -person transmission within the community. Tyler Ellis, a service engineer, said, while we feel like we are doing our part to ensure employee safety, we felt like we could do more, not just for our employees, but for the community and families as well. So the company began producing a 260 brass alloy safety key. Here's an example of it. This key is helpful in reducing and removing the point of contact in many day-to-day -day scenarios. It can be used to open doors, close doors, at ATMs, on elevator buttons, and in countless other public spaces uh, to avoid touching things that might put you at risk. It even works on many touchscreen devices. Ellis Fenn Works and Machines plans to offer the safe touch keys to the community at an affordable price and donate several safe touch keys to the Benton Police Department and other workers that are on the front lines of this pandemic. This is an excellent example of innovation from this small company in Benton, Arkansas. You can follow more stories like this one at arkansasedc.com slash COVID-19. Again, I want to thank everyone out there for their time, their attention to these matters, for making sure that you're doing your part to keep yourself, your family, your business, uh, and your community safe. Uh, it's together that we're going to fight through this pandemic. If we adhere to the safety guidelines, we'll be able to open businesses again. I know it's not at, at the, the you know, full 100% speed that we were before, uh, but as we hit these milestones, I think you'll see things begin to progress rapidly, and hopefully these businesses will really be back up to uh, and running at full speed in no time. But it's going to take each Arkansan to do their part to step in and make a difference. Thank you for what you do. Look forward to talking to with everyone again soon.